In this video, you will learn to download the Jotero and install in your computer. So for this purpose, in your address bar of the browser, type jotero.org and when you go to the Jotero's main website, then click on download. You will have a options on Jotero 5.0 for Windows and Jotero Connect. Here you have to download first Jotero and then also install Chrome connector. So Chrome connector is a connector that is add-on for the Chrome browser. So click this to install this as well. So you can click allow this extension and allow. Now in the extension list see add to chrome so jotero connector now you have to click this add to chrome add extension now you are done with the chrome extension installation of jotero connector now you can see this is an option save to jotero right so the, this means this indicates that you have successfully uh, added the Chrome extension for Jotero connector. Now we have also downloaded Jotero file over here and then now you can click this file to install. So before installation you check it because Microsoft Office normally uh, does not have uh, the Jotero tab so to make sure let's see here first you can see this is Microsoft Office where you can see there is no Jotero tab review mailing view help grammarly something there are other many tabs but no Jotero now after installation by default it should install uh, the tab and options available under Jotero for citation and bibliography uh, entry into Microsoft Office. So first install and see. So installation is in progress. Now installation, once installation is over, then we will check whether our installation is successful or not so you can choose a standard and go to installation and the installation for folder will be the same and install now installation process is in progress we can wait a while and now launch Jotero now is here so you can click finish Jotero will automatically be uh, installed and see you will get this message success you installed Jotero now welcome to Jotero quick start guide you can use quick start guide as well as you can use install a Jotero connector which has already been done in our case now you can uh, minimize this and go and check in the uh, Microsoft Word whether whether the uh, tab has been attached to now after opening you can see the list of tabs available yes Zotero is there and you can use add edit citation and add edit bibliography these two for citation and bibliography listing before this you have to have some resources on your uh, library jotero library so let's minimize this and go to jotero and see there is nothing in jotero library so we will pull it from internet browsing for that purpose you go in the chrome browser where you have installed jotero plugin now we are supposed to browse an article from the Chrome browser, uh, let's source an article. So 
so this is an article i am searching for look at this yes this is an article found browsing in the internet now with the help of chrome connector on the browser just installed and it's connected to Jotero let's uh, click on the save so this one is is saved to Jotero let's click this yes it has been added if you have some library options or the folders in a separate folder format then you can choose the option where to save now we, we let's save it in my library and click done okay so after this you can minimize the bar and check yes the file has been added to the Jotero library and its title is here and creator or something other information like metadata abstract author and this. according to APA normally the heading goes to lowercase so you can change this entry by simply clicking on there and uh, so after you complete the task you can enter yes now we did everything now there are two ways to use citation or bibliography information you can uh, click create like bibliography from the item one uh, approach you can simply click here and then you choose APA 7th edition American Psychological Association 6th and 7th both versions are available uh, you can click this and click OK and your bibliographic information is copied in this untitled TRA file and you can save it in the desktop and later on you can use in your document like if you open this yes this is the reference according to APA 7 but there is uh, another very good way to use citation and reference so for this you can directly use your uh, existing document okay now let's open a sample file that already exists in my computer now uh, for example you are citing this statement for example here at this location at the end of the uh, sentence and now you go to the Jotero go to the Jotero and add it citation. now here you will get uh, the list of available uh, resources or article or books uh, in the library so type the title for example open so this is what I am looking for and I can click this yes that's done now if you do have a page number as well then you can click comma p dot 23 yes now you are done so this is how you can add citation now for bibliographic information go to the end of the document and simply enter and make a space to insert the uh, bibliography and click add now see the reference uh, connected to previously cited item this item has been added here see, this is this is the reference and its associated citation is here the same way once more let's let's try another article searching from the internet okay save this one okay yes so this zotero even article snapshot everything is available now go to word and then on the place where the text is cited now okay type the yes uh, title and this is our destination now click it and enter yes this is placed here as a citation and once you cite it uh, it will automatically add this information or uh, the cited uh, source in a reference list you see here this is the recently cited source 
This is how uh, the Jotero works as a good tool for researchers. Thank you so much for attention. If you have any question, concerns, please uh, write in the comment box. We will try to address your concerns as soon as possible.